Good morning, YouTube, Booktube. This is Johnny. Time to make a video. It's been a couple of days. The house is quiet. I can sit in the dining room. My wife uh, is covering for somebody at the Book Nook, the, li the local library used bookstore. She's covering for somebody. They have COVID in their family and they have to be quarantined. So uh, I'm by myself this morning here in the uh, home. Today is a very uh, bitter cold sunny day. It's supposed to start getting cloudy and snowy around middle of the afternoon, three o'clock, four o'clock. So um, I was out feeding the birds, taking out the garbage, doing the laundry, and uh, writing in my diary as I always do. This is the new year, 2022. It is January the 8th, 2022. I'm on page 26 for the year 2022. As is my routine the last couple of years reading. I, yesterday I read Reform Systematic Theology Spirit and Salvation by Beaky and Smalley, and then I read today uh, Ludwig of Saxony, The Life of Jesus Christ, Part 2, Volume 1, Chapters 1 through 57. I am on Chapter 28, Jesus Weeps Over Jerusalem and Enters the City. I'm on page 423. So that's what I'm going to read this morning. And yeah, that chapter is kind of short, chapter 28, and then chapter 29 is the second cleansing of the temple. So I'll read that for devotions. But I thought I would just make a video, this is like a, a Saturday, a Saturday reads what I have got in the mail, new books. I'm not going to show you the thrift store books because I'm not in the mood to haul them up here into the dining room. I would just show you the books I've been reading, some books I got in the mail. Uh, this week, I got this book in the mail this week. I'm sure you're all aware of it, those who are into the book world. It's the New York Times Book Review, 125 Years of Literary History, edited by Tina Jordan with Noor. Cusum? I can't pronounce the name, but I'm sure you've all seen this. It's uh, I looked at it and looked at it, and I was just I couldn't give in. I gave in to temptation, and I've been reading it. It's if you're into literary history, it's a great book to have in your book collection. So I got that in the mail, and then I got in the mail, I told you I have been reading uh, The Ordeal of Mark Twain by Van Wick Brooks, and then that got me into reading uh, Ron Powers' A Life by Mark Twain, I've been reading this. I really. At first I was just kind of skipping around in this and then I just started to start at the beginning because I was really enjoying it. So I've been reading this last couple of days. And I showed you I've been rereading parts of this, The Bohemians, Mark Twain, San Francisco, Mark Twain and the San Francisco writers who reinvented American literature by Ben Turn Turnoff. I really highly recommend this. Uh, it's I've been rereading it and really enjoying it. And then I showed you, I've been reading Days of the Phoenix, the 1920s, I remember. This is a memoir by Van Wickbrooks. And uh, so I've been reading that. And then I got this in the mail this week. This is another book by Van Wickbrooks. This is The Life of Emerson. As you all know, I'm into Ralph up Waldo Emerson and the Transcendentalists, and I was just kind of interested in how he would portray Emerson. 
And uh, so I got this in the mail this week. Uh, I read a couple chapters of it. And then I got this in the mail this week. Uh, Van Wickbrook's A Writer's Life. This is a biography by Raymond Nelson. I got this because I was been reading one I had for a long time in my library, this biography of Van Wickbrook's In Search of American Culture by James Hoops. So I kind of like, when I read biographies, I like to have a couple of them. Sometimes I have multiple biographies on certain people, but um, this this biography was has been mentioned along with this one and I like to read them side by side when I'm reading it. I haven't been reading it this week. I've been primarily been reading the uh, the Ron Powers biography on Mark Twain and I haven't really gotten back into Van Wick books, which I plan to. I just want to have them for my Van Wick's books. That's why I got The Life of Emerson. That's why I got his memoir, The Days of the Phoenix, Van by Van Wick's books. I like to having, uh, I collect things over a period of time. And of course I've been reading The Ordeal of Mark Twain by Van Wick books. So, um, I got those in the mail. One thing I didn't bring over here is I've been reading Mark Twain's America by Bernard de Boto, which I don't, didn't bring up here, but I've been reading that, really enjoying that too. I think I showed you this book by Mark Twain. No, it's not by Mark Twain. It's a. It's called uh, Chasing the Last Laugh, How Mark Twain Escaped Debt and Disgrace with Around the World Comedy Tour by Richard Zacks. I want to read this uh, when I get finished reading Ron Powers. Well, when I get back into another Mark Twain uh, mood, as you all know, I'm a moody reader. I'll read about a certain subject or a certain person for a, a couple of weeks, maybe a couple of months, and then I burn out and go on to something else. But I wanted this for my Mark Twain collection. <coughs> and another book that I got a couple of months, I got a month ago, maybe two months ago that came into the book nook, the library used bookstore, was this book, Mark Twain and the Colonel, Samuel L. Clemens, Theodore Roosevelt and the Arrival of the New Century by Philip McFarlane. So I've been, I want to read this too. Uh, as you all know, I am, I collect books on Theodore Roosevelt. I just showed you one. I found, uh, no, I don't know if I showed that to you, but I got one at a recently a biography on Theodore Roosevelt. I have a whole bunch of Theodore Roosevelt biographies. He also wrote a lot of books, Theodore Roosevelt. Uh, and a uh, very interesting president. Uh, so um, He has some other books in here. This Philip McFarland that I want to look at today. He wrote a book called uh, Love, Loves of Harriet Beecher Stowe, Hawthorne and Concord, The Brave Bostonian Sea Danger Sojourners. The one Hawthorne and Concord, Concord I think I've seen that before and uh, for my Nathaniel Hawthorne collection. So yeah, these are the kind of books that I've been looking at, reading. I've been reading the last couple of days this book and that book on Mark Twain's America by Bernard DeVoto. And uh, been reading the New York Times book review, 125 Years of Literary History. There's a nice picture of Mark Twain in here. Let me see if I can find it. He liked to, he liked to, uh, he liked to write in bed, <laughs> Mark Twain with Samuel Clemens. So there's a picture of him in bed. He'd get a board, he'd put it in there and he would just write. So I, I got books coming in the mail. Uh, I, some, I ordered some Penguin classics I didn't have. 
I don't know what else is coming in the mail. I don't remember. So uh, I'm hanging in there. You know, I don't, as I've mentioned in my previous videos, I'm not feeling well these days. I got, I got, I got a muscle damage in my right leg that's always painful. My, my feet are numb. I'm going to see a foot, foot doctor next week. And I got that tetanus, tinnitus in my ear, the buzzing, and the world is, is, this gets to me. I get kind of depressed and kind of sick. It's just, uh, it's, it's very difficult living in this world. Not only f for Christians, but for everyone. It's just, a, life is hard and difficult. So, but I'm enjoying uh, reading Mark Twain uh, by Ron Paul. I had this for a long time, and I just picked it up once in a while, and I read parts of it, but now I'm going to read it. The, I'm going to read, I start reading the, from the beginning, and highly recommend it. I also recommend this book. I've, I'm going to reread. I reread it. Uh, it's a good book. The Bohemians. Mark Twain and the San Francisco Writers Who Reinvent American Literature by per Ben Turnoff. And uh, always enjoy reading in the mornings, Rudolph of Saxony. Uh, the fourth volume, the final complete fourth volume comes out in March. I got an email from Satertian Publications, which publishes this. So I hope you have a, a good reading week. I'm going to answer this phone. Thank you for all your comments. And until next time, bye.